Hello everyone, I'm Gabriella and you have just entered my happy place. I love cooking, arts and crafts, dance, acting and a lot of other things. I can't name all the things I love but you will be seeing in my channel all the things I love. If you like my videos, um, please support me by subscribing and hit the notification bell because then you'll you'll see my videos as soon as they're uploaded and you can keep track of all of them. That's what I've really got to say. Now let's get on to the video. Hello, I'm back. Did you miss me? You didn't? We're going to be making a two ingredient, I repeat, a two ingredient recipe. It's an amazing Easter recipe with only two, I repeat, two ingredients. The two ingredients which you'll be needing are cornflakes. <laughs> Don't shake your jar, the jar of Cornflakes <laughs> over your head because that will happen. We have just had a little, a slight, slight change of weather, and the weather forecast says that is we might be having a bit more rain in cornflakes. Well, anyways, you'll need cornflakes, and I'm not going to shake it this time. It's don't shake it. Mm -mm. Um, you need cornflakes, lots of cornflakes, and some chocolate. Um, you need to melt it. We've already melted it, but you need to melt it for around two minutes. Yeah, approximately that much. Um, and these are the two main ingredients. You definitely need these. And then, uh, to decorate, you can have some chocolate eggs or mini eggs. We're actually going to be using jelly beans because we couldn't find any eggs. So, yeah. And then we have sprinkles and other thingamajiggies. We have big stones we found them on the floor over there just kidding we bought them from the store but they look like rocks so yeah um then we have some dark sprinkles oops yeah dropped one it's okay that was only one and then we have my favorite i love these unicorn sprinkles should I do it? It's raining unicorn sprinkles. <sighs> okay, yeah. That would be a bit too messy. We already have lots of cornflakes already. If you like it to be a bit sweeter, you can add maple syrup or honey, but we're not gonna do that. It, this chocolate is already sweet enough, so we don't wanna have a sugar rush, do we? Uh well, you'll also be needing a big ball. This is a big boy ball, a really big ball. A spatula. And a wing scale thingy. We have the modern version. And what you do is you basically just pour the cornflakes into the bowl. Not all of them. I only have one tin of which I'm going to be making, so I'll just probably pour up to half the bowl. Whee! It's raining cornflakes in the bowl. Half the ball. And then 
breathes gently, ever so gently, start scooping the melted chocolate in. Create a little drizzle and playing with food. Just pour the whole thing in. Just pour the whole thing in already. It's quicker and easier if you just pour the whole thing in. Don't take little slight gentle scoops. So you're gonna have to be watching the scoop chocolate out of a bowl. I'm going to tie my hair up because it's very annoying to cook with untied hair. Then we mix. I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix. Jelly beans are the eggs. They look a lot like eggs. I hope they're not real eggs. I don't really feel like eating raw egg today. Um, and these are just random thing thing on the jiggies in, in the nest. And obviously, these are the stones in the nest. This white one, we actually got it from outside. Like I said, I wasn't lying about that. I think that's enough mixing. Spoon! I demand a spoon! Thank you. My, my handy spoon, do I trust? Uh, so we put this, this tray here so it's easy for me to scoop. We take, no that's a bit too big. We take a, a, a regular spoonful, put it, plop. Then we put another put spoon inside. Another half, just fill them up as much, as much as you want. Don't listen to my measurements. Just, mm, that is not enough. Okay. Next little cone thing, the cupcake liner. And just so you know, uh, on my channel you're not just going to be seeing cooking so don't worry if you don't like cooking that doesn't mean don't watch my channel it's going to have a lot of other things too it needs to be perfect perfecto while I'm scooping and this is a perfect moment to ask you what um, other videos would you like me to make and if you have a really good recipe which you want to share, comment it, um, write it in the comment section and I'll tr definitely try it. Uh, just so you know, I might not get to all of you, but I will try them. These look really delicious. I hope you try it because it's a really easy recipe. You can make it anywhere at any time. It's a lot, but it's it's not something that which it's not a five minute thing. You need to have at least an hour's time a day to do this. Now that we've made, now that we've filled all the cupcake liners. Um, we don't need this extra little bit, so... There you go. Can you save that for later? Mm. Now it's time to decorate our little nests. With, I'm gonna say, three eggs each. 
That's what I'm going to do. You can do more, less. It's up to you, really. Maybe for the first ones, they're a bit small, so I'll make only two. These birds are very good at making nests. Good job, little bird. Okay, which combination should I do? This is gonna be the Christmas one because it has red and green. This one is gonna have lots of white eggs. Red and yellow. I'm trying to think of combinations which aren't rubbish. Fire, that's a fire bird. I, have I done? Yeah, I did that. Yellow and white. Just oh, the yellow egg is in the yellow cupcake liner. Perfect. I think for this one it will have a purple rock in it, a purple pebble. Ooh, that, that. That's alliteration there. And a purple pebble. We're just gonna pretend they are. Eggs. And then this one will have a white pebble and a pink pebble because that looks nice. A blue pebble sticking up and a white pebble sticking up behind that. I can make it stay. And a yellow. I have too many yellows. A green jelly bean and a white. Oopsie, white jelly bean. That last white jelly bean is a bit wet. And then my favourite part, sprinkle it. Just randomly plop them there. I'm going to make some which have less sprinkles than the others because some people do not like sprinkles. I'm not a big fan of them myself, but it looks pretty so. The unicorn sprinkles are my favourite. So there's going to be a lot of unicorn sprinkles there. Thanks. My creation, it's not new, but it's creation. It's a masterpiece. Take one, get out, can you see? This one is actually the best one. Christmas wind. Now I'm gonna leave the room and let these to set. Just kidding, what will you see? They're not gonna set like this, it'll take two days. I'm gonna put them in the fridge, not the freezer, because then they'll turn into ice chocolate. We don't want that. We want them to just cool down. I'll see you in a moment. Maybe it's gonna be like three hours. May the taste testing begin! Come my assistant, come judge. Hello? This is the judge of it's my masterpiece lovely. creation. It's look lovely. That's good. First ladies. Oh. Which choose. one do you choose? Yellow one. Pick it up. Find it. Let's pick it up, then all day you'll have good taste bugs. Whee! Good, bad. Brilliant, no? Nice, Brilliant. very nice. It's your turn. Whoa, we got a nice comment. I'm just going to pick this one up. The, the one which judge tried um was the one with the jelly bean with the one with the jelly bean eggs i'm gonna try the rock eggs nice just for the peppers I haven't actually tried the thing yet <laughs> Thank you. 
It's like heaven.